Yo guys, what's up? It's Gaz, and welcome to the Warframe video. So we have another Kuva weapon video for you today, and we're going over an extremely surprising, like, heavy hitter, and that's the Kuva Kraken. So, this thing is the Kuva variant of the Kraken, obviously. So, we're going to take a look at what's different here, and we're going to compare it to some of its competition. Its competition being the weapons it is very similar to, the Sycharis Prime, the Kraken, and the Pandero. So... This thing is requiring Master Rank 15, so it better be really good at that high of a mastery requirement. Got 21% critical chance, 2.3 multiplier, 6.7 fire rate, 21 magazine. This thing uh, normally shoots 3 bullets per trigger pull, so that's like basically 7 bursts in the magazine at default. Got a 1.5 reload, which is fine, and then a 29% status chance. Uh, and then the, the stat distribution on the damage types is very highly weighted into impact. But if you get a Kuva version of this, you're going to get a elemental bonus, and you can. I'd recommend getting toxin, or toxin heat or radiation. Those are the main ones I recommend to people. And the reason for toxin heat or radiation is when you get toxin, you can make a high corrosive build, which is we actually have a, a toxin roll on this one. It's a pretty low percentage. I want to say like 30, 40 percent. So see, this is it's got impact puncture slash and a built-in toxin with no mods on the build. That lets you get like a really high weighting of corrosive with a build like this. So we're pretty much going hybrid. We got a uh, good crit chance of 60% uh, with these Prime Pistol Gambit. We've also got decent status chance. If we take off our multi-shot mods, we'll see exactly how high that is. 46%. And that is per burst. So it's a little bit lower than you'd think it would be. But this thing actually can remove armor really, really fast. So don't worry about that, guys. Um, yeah, like I said, if you want to get a... Uh, a heat version of this, you can also get a corrosive heat build, which would work just fine. You could technically just do that with what we have here, if you put a heat mod here. That's going to give you corrosive and heat, but, you know, you could actually, like, you can do some other stuff, too, with the heat build. Heat is the best role for getting a gas build, because the innate toxin bonus on these weapons does not uh, be taken into account with the, the uh, gas clouds. So we're going to quickly show on some 120s. I'm going to show it to you uh, versus some other... Actually, let's quickly compare these two first. So, Kuva Kraken... Let's compare it to the Sycharis Prime, which is another burst fire pistol. We've got lower critical chance in the, the Sycharis Prime, lower fire rate, lower magazine, uh, better crit multiplier, uh, better reload, which is, which is noticeable, and we've got better status chance uh, and slightly worse base damage. But, you know, this thing is better, I'd say, than the Sycharis Prime, especially since the Sycharis Prime... The, nerve, the ribbons aren't what it used to be, and then let's also compare it to the Pandero, because this thing actually has a Fan the Hammer uh, alt fire, which I don't usually, normally use that much, but it still is there, and it is good. So, the Pandero has more critical chance, a much better critical multiplier, uh, lower fire rate by like half, and the Pandero's magazine size is 8. So, that's pretty much where the Pandero is going to be hurt. I'm not going to say that this thing is better than the Pandero, because I don't, I don't really know if it is. But um, it has a lot more status chance, like almost triple the status chance of the Pandero. Uh, but do keep in mind that the Pandero is slash weighted, which is pretty nice uh, when you do proc a slash proc on the Pandero. So let's just show how this thing works, guys. So this is one trigger pull. Shoots three bullets. With multi shots, obviously, they shoot more than three bullets. And then if you put the push the alt fire button, it's fan the hammer. So really nice there. I don't normally use that, but um, it, it can be nice for getting some burst damage out. So. Let's do some 120s. I'm going to show how this goes with all headshots. See the impact right there? If you were to get a negative impact riven on this, it could make it so you're not getting impact procs, like, ever. So that's nice. So it took, like, less than the magazine to kill her, which is nice. And then we're going to do some body shots on one of these guys, too. And we're also going to show the alt fire. So see, if you get impact procs, it can make it so... Uh, getting those headshots is a little bit harder. Alright, let's do the alt fire here. Alt fire kills the gunner relatively easily. Let's do some body shots here. So see, we're still removing the armor. And it's actually doing pretty decent for body shots. Uh, and then we're getting like 16k on headshots after all that armor removal. So. You can also do the, alt, the uh, fan the hammer while sliding, which feels really cool and looks really cool. So yeah, really, really nice weapon in my opinion. I'm surprised how much I've been enjoying this thing. This has become like one of my new favorite weapons, honestly, for my secondary uh, slot. It just feels like a powerful secondary to have. Like, it can deal... It, it has one problem, and that's it can't really deal with hordes that well. So, uh, yeah, if you were to get something with like punch through on it, it could possibly help you against hordes. 
But honestly, a lot of times the enemies aren't stacked up to be killed in one burst by this thing. Also, lots of impact procs on this, guys. So, if you don't like impact procs, this is probably not the weapon for you. Uh, keep that one in mind. So, now that level 170, the the burst fire is not going to kill them in one shot. We can, we can technically just spam it, though, so it's not the end of the world. And now we're out of ammo. Actually, we got one more magazine. So, I, I'd say this is really, really good. Um, keeping in mind, though, you can't directly farm for this at all unless you were to buy it from somebody in trade chat because the nature of how Kuva Liches work, you have to actually, um, you have to just get lucky. You have to, like, make the Kuva Lich element that you want. So, like, say I want a Toxin Kuva Kraken, I would play, play like, Saren or somebody, and I would go into the, um, I would go into the Grenier mission and kill the Kuva Lich Larvaling with my Saren, and then I'd assassinate it with the, the Mercy Finisher. That would give me a Toxin weapon. I wouldn't know which Toxin weapon it was until I went back to orbit. And there's like, what, like... I think there's like 10 plus Kuva weapons, so you have a really, really low chance of getting what you want here. Uh, not to mention the ele elemental bonus percentage on these Kuva weapons is random as well. So, if you want to get the coveted 60% uh, Toxin roll, which is 60% is the highest you can get on this thing, it's... It's like, you feeling lucky today? Like, you better be feeling really lucky today, because it's probably like a less than 1% chance to get what you want when you create a Kuva Lich. So, yeah. Uh, <laughs> good luck there. Here it is in the mission against some Kuva Guardians and some Corpus. So keep on, this is a Corrosive build, so bad against the Corpus. Also, wow, my Void Blast range was extremely tiny there. I can't believe that Kuva got past me, but whatever. So yeah, in normal missions, this thing's just going to one-tap, or like one burst. Like, you pull one, the trigger pull once, that guy's dead. I've noticed that a lot. It's, it's actually really nice in, like, normal missions like this. And then the Veil Proxima, it does relatively all right against the overtuned enemies there. Uh, but yeah, you're definitely going to want to use melee for the most part against the Veil Proxima uh, enemies. Because they are just, like, armor monsters, health monsters, just... It's just kind of, like, broken, honestly. But maybe maybe we'll get some tuning on that in the future. I'm probably not going to be doing many Empyrean videos until DE gets back and there's, like, the first hot fix of 2020. Because, dude, let's be honest here. They're going to be changing a lot of stuff. I'm ex <laughs> All right, I mean, I'm not going to go full Doomsday mode, but I'm expecting them to remove stealth, multipl uh, stealth XP multipliers from uh, Railjack missions. I don't know. Like, I'm, I'm not, like, an alarmist or anything like that, but it might happen. We'll see. I don't even know why stealth XP multipliers are still in the game. Like, what purpose is it so solving? Uh, additionally, they're definitely going to remove the Rhino Roar working on the ship. Uh, and probably, for that matter, they'll remove all the other stuff that works on the ship. Uh, like So, like, Mirage apparently works. I haven't tried that out myself. Uh, also, the elemental augment buffs apparently work as well, like Smite Infusion, Venom Dose. So expect most of that stuff to get removed, or honestly, hopefully, like, Hopefully, like, reworked altogether. If they're going to, like, nerf that stuff, they better, like, rework everything. Like, damage types and all that. And honestly, I wouldn't mind if they just, like, took us back to the normal uh, damage types. Like, no Ionic, no Particle, none of that garbage that no one wants to learn. And is like, kind of, like, spaghetti code convoluted anyway. Like, why is... Okay, so we're not getting radiation damage in space, yet we're getting a radiation damage bonus against these guys? Like, what is this... What's going on there? Like, why... Why, why am I getting radiation damage bonuses if I'm not modding for radiation? Like, radiation damage literally doesn't exist in these Railjack missions outside of your ship, so I don't get it. I hope that they can figure out something that's fun for everybody. Um, and honestly, like, they have a lot of stuff. And they got their work cut out for them, seriously. Like, they have so much stuff to fix, and a lot of people are not happy with, like, how the, uh, like the balance levels are for, for everything, so... Yeah, but also, guys, this thing is pretty good. Like, speaking of Railjack, this thing is really good for breaking the reactor core in a Railjack mission. So, um, yeah, also pretty good against nullifiers, as you see here. This is without a Riven. I normally use this thing with a multi-shot and damage Riven. Uh, I know a lot of people don't like Rivens. Sure, that made that clear in the last video. But, um, yeah, this channel uses Rivens on everything. I'm not using a Riven in this, in this footage currently, so keep that one in mind. This is how it performs without any... RNG uh, lottery mods so yeah pretty good here we're gonna move on to show the reactor uh, core being broken with, with the alt fire here and yeah I'm gonna say I think this thing is better than Pandero unfortunately it, it is impact based which I think hurts it a lot because those impact procs are gonna knock the enemy around can ruin your headshots um, and then as far as comparing to the Sycorus Prime I do think it's also better than Sycorus Prime 
but this thing is not, you can't guarantee get this thing at all unless you were to buy it from another player in trade chat and honestly the people selling the ones in trade chat probably have pretty poopy rolls to be honest we're talking like low toxin this is actually the the weapon i'm showing you right now is a low toxin roll so you're gonna get similar performance with a like a like a 30 percent toxin roll honestly so it does perform pretty well and i'd like to get a higher roll one in the future but i'm not gonna hold my breath with how the nature of getting these weapons is so i'll talk to you guys next time i hope that you found this helpful as always uh there will definitely be another video tomorrow I, actually, I have a party to go to tomorrow. There will probably be a video tomorrow. I will talk to you guys next time. Like I said, no more Empyrean videos until they put out on Hot Fix. Or if there's something really I desperately need to get out. I always try to get that good info to you guys as soon as possible. So that will be the, the goal. And then going to 2020, there will be some changes to the channel. So make sure you check out that community post if you haven't seen it already. Peace out, guys.